I was sent a few cases for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus to try out. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. In today's video, we're going to be trying out a bunch of different cases for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. We're gonna test how they fit with the Whitestone Dome Glass, see how easy it is to pull out the S Pen, as well as the buttons and just the overall protection to protect this beautiful device. So we're going to start off with the least protective to the most protective case. Now I do wanna mention that most of the cases in today's video were provided to me so that I could show it to you guys. So first up, let's check out these Taurus cases. So there are a few different colors and this is a very thin uh, plastic here. So put this on and there you can see you still have the awesome Aura Glow color coming through. It's a very simple, very thin design. So it doesn't add much bulk to the device and then you still have access to your buttons very easily. Now to get to the S Pen on this one is very simple. So easily pull that out. And then around the edges, you have plenty of room for the white stone dome glass. It doesn't come up to the screen at all. So there you go. Here is the black edition of that. And then this also comes in a blue as well. So that is the Taurus case. As for protection, uh, it's probably not going to protect against drops, but it will definitely help with scratches or anything on the back of the device, as this is not really rated for any drop protection or anything like that. So those are the Taurus cases. So next up, we have some cases by Rhino Shield. This is the solid suit, uh, different case brands, and it comes in a few different types. So putting this on, very simple, just pop it in just like that. And then here it fits really good. And I really like this matte finish, it adds some nice grip to the device. And these are a little bit more protective than the Taurus cases as they do add a little bit more bulk to the device. And here you can see it adds a little bit of lip as well. There's even a slot for a lanyard right here if you like to do that. Um, and then the white stone, there's plenty of gap around the outside, so you wouldn't have any problem installing a white stone dome glass on here. And then getting to the S Pen, very simple to do. Uh, it doesn't block it or make it so it's hard to get to at all. And there's no flap on the bottom of the device. So that's the Rhino Shield case, and let's try out this other one. At first, when I put this on, used it for a uh, little while. It didn't seem like it had much grip, but after a full day of use, it definitely has some good grip on it. And it's a really nice slim profile case and you get that really cool design. Here you have the carbon fiber look. So those are cases by Rhino Shield. Now these do offer 11 feet protection or 3.5 meters of impact protection, BPA free, and some other really cool things. So there you go. There's all the specs of the solid suit case. Next up, we have some cases by iBlason. So there are two different types. Here we have some nice flashy cases that we'll get into and some just more durable protective cases. So with these cases, they do have an extra protective layer. So you do have to peel this apart. So it just pops off like that. You place this on first and then you place it into the rest of the case. and just make sure all sides are fit snug. And this adds a really cool design and it lets you still see the color on the back and this has a nice grip feel. Also the edges have this rubberized feel that add really good protection, but it's really grippy in the hand. I really like how this feels as well as how it looks. So you can still see that color coming right through and it kind of mutes the aura glow a tiny bit, but you still get all that reflective color. Now on the bottom, you do have a cover for the USB-C charging port. So if you're using wireless charging, that shouldn't be a problem, um, but that flap is there. Getting out the S Pen, it is a little bit harder as this has a pretty big bump there in the front, but pulling it out, no problem, just like that. Now next, um, buttons feel great. No problems with the buttons, nice and clicky. And then with the white stone dome glass, this comes right up to the edge of the dome glass at the top and the bottom. It fits pretty perfectly with this one. Um, I haven't used this case enough to see any long lasting effects for the white stone. There are some other cases that did press up right against it and caused it to lift a little bit. But this one doesn't look like it's going to have an issue. If you drop the phone, I can see it bumping it a little bit so it would hit the dome glass and maybe 
pill it up a bit. So that might be something to consider if you check out this eye blazing case. But these do have a military grade standard and they are eye blazen drop protected certified. So that's this case and this also comes in a solid black. So instead of the blue accents, you have it in the solid black as well. Just make sure you clean your phone so you don't have any fingerprints on the inside when you put on this case. Okay, now moving on to the Cosmo series. So these are a little bit more flashy, you know, something my wife would enjoy a little bit more than I would. So again, you have the front protection there, and then here you can snap in the back of the case just like that. It fits really nice and is solid, and look at that. That looks pretty awesome, very nice, and it comes in these two different colors. So it does hide the color of the Aura Glow, but it adds this awesome design and really good looking case. So again, this is the Cosmo series and it butts right up to the Whitestone Dome Glass as well, but it doesn't look like it would be an issue with that. Now these ones do not have a cover over the USB-C charging port like the other eye blazing cases. And then with the buttons here, they work pretty good. They don't make a click sound. You do have to press a little bit. And then here with the S Pen, no problem getting to it, pulling it in and out. And here is the other edition of the Cosmo series. Now the back does have really good grip on these and there you can see the purple front border where it adds a little accent color there. So this is very durable. I do like even the feel of this case and uh, it's pretty flashy. And here you still get the Aura Glow color coming through right there. So there you go. That is the Cosmo series by iBlason. Oops, be careful when taking that off. Looks like uh, I just broke it. Now next up, these two cases are from Samsung and I actually picked these up. This is the Samsung Note 10 Plus Rugged case. I really like it because on the back it has these two sizes of kickstand that you can use. So there's the first size and there's the second size. Uh, one thing I haven't liked about this is it gets a little greasy on the back. Maybe going with the gray would have been a little bit better, uh, but they've added this new rubberized side so it makes it really easy to grip in the hand but there's plenty of room to add the white stone dome glass on here. And it's also very easy to get to the S Pen without any problem. So I really like this. It also is very slim, but very protective. So those are some of the benefits of this case. And then next we have the S View flip cover. Now this is a little bit different than previous models that they have added as there's no kickstand here. So I can't pop it open to add the kickstand. And then right here, it doesn't have that rubberized material that was pretty grippy. So if you were to hold it, it would be really nice in the hand. This is a little bit more slippier, but it does have this really cool new cutout. So it's how it works is here you can see the time and then your notifications right there. One of the benefits of this case is when you are in the settings, you can have it automatically unlock when you flip open the flip cover. So you don't really ever see the lock screen, but it's really nice to easily access your phone. And then here you have the text direction. So you can have the text be at the top or you can have it be at the bottom. So let's go to the bottom. So here you could have it be in this orientation or if you change it to the top, then it's in this orientation. So the S View flip cover adds really slim protection, easy to get out the S Pen as well. As you can see that the bottom of the phone is still completely open and then you can is a little slippery there. And then you can even access the volume controls right here as well as the power button on the side so I can easily see the time and lock and unlock it like that. Now next up we have this protective case by Poetic. So this has the front cover here that you place on and then it slides into the more protective part of the case. Now, after using this case for a day, I definitely felt like my phone was very protective as it has really thick layers here around the edges. Uh, you can see how thick it is there protecting the phone. It does have a kickstand, which is nice. I really like a phone case with a kickstand in case I'm watching movies or whatever. Uh, but one of the problems here is that when I use this case for more than a day, my dome glass started to peel up here in the top corner. And actually after taking it off for a while, the dome glass kind of went back to normal and all the bubbles went away, but I did have dome glass problems with this case. So keep that in mind when you are picking up the Poetic case. But other than that, everything seemed to work really well. I like the buttons over here on the side. They have a nice click to it. Getting out the S Pen, it's a little bit hidden in there, but there's enough room right here where you can easily pull it out on the side. 
And then just overall, it feels really good, has nice grip, and uh, I felt like my phone was very protective. And then it does have the flap for your USB cable here to keep that protected. Now, wireless charging seemed to work just fine with this. Had no problems there either. I was using a Samsung Duo wireless charger while using this case. So that is the Poetic Rugged case. I really like it, but I wish it was a little bit more room at the top so it didn't peel up the dome glass. Up next, we have a few cases from Subcase, the Unicorn Beetle series. And then here we have this nice slim case design. So on the back, it has this protective covering so you can still see the Oro Glow. It looks really good. And then you have this blue accent around the outside. Um, there you have the Subcase branding. And then it is really slim. So if you're looking for a case that offers some good protection, but stays slim, this is definitely something worth checking out. It doesn't have as much of a lip at the top there um, as it doesn't go over the side too much. Some of the other cases seem to do that a lot, but this one makes it really feel like it's adhered really good to the phone. So there's not a big bulky thing that you're holding onto. And I like how the back has that extra grip right there. Pulling out the S Pen on this is very simple and easy to do, nothing blocking its way, and no port there on the USB-C charging port. So I really like this. And then the buttons on the side are flush, they're not extruded at all, but they are still easy to press and use. So that is the first case by Subcase, and then the next cases are a little bit more durable. So here we have the pink one, and then we have a white, and they do come with the belt clip. So I've been using this for the last few days and I've actually really liked it. So there it sits on just like that. Make sure all the sides are pressed in. This one looks really nice and it feels very protective. It also has a very similar design as the Poetic case where it has the kickstand right there on the back of the phone. But the one thing that this had a problem with as well is the Whitestone dome glass up at the very corners here around the edges, when you put on this case, you will see peeling or bubbling on all sides. So I don't know if you can see that, but it takes a day or so, and then you see little bubbles, and definitely something that would be a problem if you are looking to keep the phone protected with the dome glass. I could see it eventually even cracking it if you dropped it on the corners or something like that. So I don't recommend using this Unicorn Beetle case with a dome glass, but overall the protection of the case is really awesome. Buttons over here on the side are plenty clicky and it's a very thick case to protect the phone. Down here on the bottom you do have the flap for the USB charging port and then here on the side getting to the S Pen no problem it is a little bit harder as there's a thick border around it to keep that edge still protected. So that is the Unicorn Beetle protective case. So now we do have this belt clip so on the back you could easily clip that on Seems very durable. I know a lot of people like these um, in construction or whatever. You could easily pop it into the case this way, or you could pop it in this way so the phone is not facing out. So that's probably the main way that you would want to use it. And so far, no problem with it coming out when it is in this case. And then you just pull this and it pops right out just like that. So this is definitely a case worth checking out if you're looking for a durable way to protect the phone with a belt clip attached. This all comes in the box and then it comes in a bunch of different colors. So here is the white and gray and then it also comes in that nice pink and gray. So there you go, that is the full lineup of cases that were sent to me today. Here we have the Taurus case, the Poetic, the Rhino Shield, the iBlazon cases, the Samsung cases, and then down here, the Unicorn Beetle. If you have any further questions about these cases or you wanna let us know your favorite case for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, please let us know in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to all of these in the description for you guys to check out. And if you wanna see my full install on the Whitestone Dome Glass, please check out the video over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.